Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting East Coast Volkswagen, and I have a few minutes to spend with a 2018 Volkswagen Atlas Premium. So this is top of the line. It has every feature that the Atlas has to offer at the moment. So let's quickly look at it. Here in the front it has the LED reflector headlight system for your high and your low beams. So your high beams will activate here at the very bottom with all these uh, different places here. And the reflector halogen fog lights are there at the bottom. It has parking sensors in the front and back. It also has the adaptive cruise control system with the radar here in the front and a camera system here next to the rear view mirror. It also has the blind spot monitor system. The indicators are in the side mirrors with the rear traffic alert here in the back, parking sensors across the back. It also has the around surround camera system. So you have a camera here. You also have cameras in the side mirrors here at the bottom. Little GoPro type cameras, wide angle view. And here's the front camera here in the very center in the bottom. So that uses these cameras to give you a view around the vehicle, kind of stitches them together, uses the computer system to basically remove all the distortion and give you like a view, like a top-down view. You can see it has the LED tail lights. Has the dual exhaust tips back here and the towing package. And this is uh, the premium comes standard with the four motion. In other words, the all wheel drive system. Here's the inside of the passenger side door, all soft to the touch, all around your arm, all the way up in here. It has the wood grain and the metallic accents with the Fender premium sound system. Pretty good size pocket there at the very bottom. There's your threshold with an aluminum sill plate and a power seat here for the passenger, heated and cooled leather seats. And check out the real tight perforations there in the leather, really nice. And then the contrast stitching here. And this vehicle, all three rows, front, middle, and rear, all the three rows have absolutely amazing amount of room. I think this view right here demonstrates that. In the second row, the seats actually recline and check out all this leg room. Fantastic. And here in the back you have the climate control for the back seats as well as heated seats. Three stage heated seats here in the back. Third row is no exception, check it out. Tons of room. The seats are actually quite a ways off the floor. So, even if you're tall, your knees are not gonna stick up in the air like some other vehicles. Really, really nice. So I have a full video of the SEL, which is very similar to this vehicle, except for it doesn't have some of the features um, that this one has. So that's why I'm trying to highlight those on my channel so you can check it out if you want a more detailed video this is more of a quick rundown of the premium just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like oh this one has the fender uh, subwoofer here in the back nice 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 all right but yeah so thank you for watching this is just a quick look at it Especially these gotta look at the wheels gotta look at the wheels 20 inch wheels Continental tires four-wheel disc brakes with a ventilated disc rotors on all four wheels Love the color as well, especially with that privacy glass there in the back And has the chrome rails there at the top chrome on the side nice in the four motion all-wheel drive system it has a a little indicator for your drive modes here so you can make selections here 
So this is your snow mode. So it's going to start off at a higher gear and give you a uh, less, basically a little bit less torque, I suppose you can say, to keep you from slipping on the uh, the ice or snow. And then you go in this normal mode, you're able to make selections here on the screen. So you have eco, normal, sport mode, which is going to give you a uh, emphasis on performance, and then a custom. Let's go back there. So you can customize uh, the different settings if you adjust it in your profile and it will save it uh, you know as you get in the vehicle with the appropriate key okay so now you have the off-road mode off-road terrain showing optimal profile for off-road terrain and then last but not least is your uh, custom off-road here's the customized screen you can actually adjust the steering the drive system and it gives you normal or sport oh, there's the off-road so right there is your customized off-road options. So right now I'm sitting in a premium, which has the digital cockpit. So the entire gauge cluster is one digital screen. And as you'll see, it's able to move the simulated gauge cluster around to accommodate more information. So here on the steering wheel, you have the adaptive cruise control information here and settings, which you can adjust the distance between the vehicle in front of you and you right here. And here on the right is the actual controls for the digital dash or digital cockpit. So you can see right here is a left and right, there's an OK, and then there's an up and down. So right now, this is kind of a default screen with your digital speedometer here in the center your rpms the regular speedometer there on the right then you have a clock outside temperature digital compass here on the left you have a trip and then your cruise control is on your lane keeping assist is on and you, all the safety features are all on right now so the first thing i'm going to do is go to the right and I'm going to just show you as I go to the right the different options will appear at the top it's kind of like a different tab on a computer so right now we're in the driving data tab and if I were to go down it will give me more information in that tab so you notice I was select I selected the speed I can go down and go to the speed warning I can see the actual oil temperature the fuel economy in real time, average economy, the range, actually I need some gas now, travel time, distance, these all can be reset, average speed, and it goes back to your digital speedometer. Scrolling to the right to the next tab is your assist systems. So this will be your lane keeping assist, your adaptive cruise control, things like that. So right now, there's no vehicle in front of us, but if there was a vehicle, as we're driving, it'll actually show a simulated vehicle in front of us and we can change the distance between this vehicle and that vehicle. And it will use a radar system to maintain that distance. It will also highlight a little green arrow next to the speed in which we're set and show that we're below that actual speed. So as soon as the vehicle moves out of the way, it will accelerate back to your set speed. Scrolling down, you can see, you can actually turn these features on or off. So you have a lane assist, blind spot monitor system, and the indicator is here on the side mirror. And with the blind spot monitor system, the same system is used for the rear traffic alert. So this is used when you're backing out of a parking space and you can't see around the vehicles next to you sometimes. Well, if there's a vehicle coming from either side, it will illuminate and get your attention using those blind spot monitor indicators. You also have the front assist. Let's go back out of here. Scroll to the right. This is your navigation screen. So you notice it can expand the navigation screen to be larger 
and shrink these dials. So that's one of the, the best things about a, a complete digital dash. It can move things and adapt to whatever your screen you're in. So right now it's kind of showing the night mode of the navigation. Uh, so the daytime, I guess it's getting a little bit dark right now, so it switched to night mode. But the daytime will have a brighter background, so you'll be easier to see. You can go into your settings for your navigation by pushing the down arrow. Enlarge display map. We can turn that feature off and it'll go back to a smaller map. So you, you don't have to have that large elongated uh, and then shrinking your dials if you don't want to. But I kind of like it, so I'm going to turn it back on. And you can always, right here on the steering wheel, stop the guidance. So if you're ever on a trip and you need to stop at the gas station or whatever and you want to just stop the guidance, uh, you can do that if you need to. Scrolling to the right again, uh, this shows your views. Now, views means th the way the screen is laid out. So right now it's in a classic view. Scrolling down, you'll be able to get the gear and speed. So if I select that, the, so now I have the gear on this side and the speed on that side, the digital speedometer. If I choose economy and range, it shows me the average fuel economy on this side and then the range before I need to get some fuel. The economy tab uh, gives you a average miles per gallon uh, but on the right side it just has a vehicle there with a trainer these little trainer indicators there so as you're driving it's going to let you know if you're accelerating too hard or things like that to kind of maintain a certain miles per gallon uh, amount. All right, let's go back over here to the views. Okay, so the next one is your navigation. So this will show you if you have a, uh, so now it's just telling us we're off-road. We're actually in the parking lot here at East Coast Volkswagen, uh, but it shows us we're not on an actual road. But if we get on a road and we have a navigation uh, spot set or whatever, it's gonna give us the information here and also how many miles and an estimated time before we get there. Your next tab over is going to be your audio. And this is basically just showing you what your audio is doing as far as the, the volume on the radio uh, station and whether you're you know, AM, FM or uh, different media source or in this case, the satellite radio. Telephone, so once you pair your phone, it will give you the like caller ID and information here on the screen. Also, if you use your voice recognition, you'll be able to select the person that you actually want to call in case there's certain people, uh, more than one person with a similar name. And the vehicle status. So right now, the auto stop feature is actually turned off. Now, if I turn it on, uh, it still has to have certain conditions before it will turn off. So if I'm driving and I come to a complete stop, if my seatbelt's not fastened or you know, certain things will trigger it to turn off automatically. Um, so like this is just letting you know the status of that. It also lets us know we need to refuel. And just the two information, two things that it's kind of showing right now. If there's more information, it will show in this, uh, this selection. And then it goes back to your driving data. So basically, you see at the top it has the tabs and then you make this you rest on the one the tab that you want and then you can scroll down to get some more information on that particular tab and of course the screen is customizable so that's kind of a quick rundown of the digital cockpit here in a 2018 Volkswagen Atlas in the premium trim level Where's a place that we can get up to 55? <laughs> this time of day? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Homestown. We have to go all the way to 31 or something. Um, or at least, you know, some where you, you can accelerate so they can kind of hear the transmission kind of okay. shift through the gears. Homestown should be able to do yeah. that. You know, it could there be 45. There ought to be a car on there, too.
probably should hit that corner if it was there. I know. <laughs> they took us driving in Atlanta. We were like, this is where we're going to drive today. It's through Atlanta. We don't have a road course. <laughs> so that's what they took us to. But it was nice. It was actually a fun time. I had a really good time. I'm gonna ride this one. Yeah. It is. Yeah, all motion, the premiums so. are all. Yeah. All the premiums are standard for That's motion. Right. Mm -hmm. And then everything else. It's an option on all of the trims. All of, you can get them in the launch and everything? I didn't know. I didn't know if it was SE. Now, the um, captain's chairs, do you know when those will hit? Another have month or two. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I don't know an exact date. I know they don't want you ordering them now. Oh, really? Because they don't have an exact date yet. What's the lowest trim level that you have in stock right now? The launch. That's the nice the launch is, the yep. Eight-speed transmission, right? Yes. They're all, all trim levels are eight-speed? Mm -hmm. Yes. In the V6, I think. Maybe it's both. showing that it's it starting to car. decelerate see how it's got the green arrow see how it's slowing me down i'm not touching it yeah i see it yeah so on the speedometer it has a green that's where it's falling back it's keeping me at that distance and then if that obstruction were to move or i change lanes it goes back up then the car disappears then it takes back off it goes back to your original settings nice i like the visuals yeah pretty sweet huh? Rough road, but still a nice ride. I think I'll use my heated seats now. You cold? No, not cold, but I do <laughs> like the way it feels on my back. It does, it is wonderful. Even with the air on, right? Yeah, especially with the air on. I want to be too hot, but I like the cooling seats if it's, yeah. if it's a really hot day. Those are yes. pretty awesome. I'm so happy they added the cooling seats. I yeah. agree. Especially with the leather. Leather gets really hot in the summer. And with the premium having the remote start, mm. even better, right? That is even better. Now, is there any lag from taking your foot off the brake to the vehicle starting? From the start stop? No. Yeah. yeah it, as then, soon as you take it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The moment your foot comes off the brake, it immediately starts back up. Yeah, I barely even noticed that it turned off and on. I just, just barely noticed. I was going to say it, and then, yeah, it's kind of neat. Some people deactivate it. I've had people at the bottom, and they just deactivate it right away. And that's in all mm -hmm. trim levels. Start stop. I don't know about the S, but the launch has it. Now, what's the wood grain made out of? Is it any, any real wood, or is it just a no, I think it's synthetic? Yeah. Okay. Looks good though. I thought it, it does. Was real. I actually like the chrome better. They have a chrome one in some mm. of the vehicles. And I like the chrome better. That launch might have the chrome, actually. I think it does have yeah. the And I actually like that better than this one. Yeah. Is it a, um, a demo vehicle that you guys brought, or is it staying at the dealership? We have it at the dealership. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. We have a white one and a gray one. Right now. Mm -hmm. It has the panoramic sunroof. It's a great package for the price. Yes. I think it's like $34,000. Yeah, it's just a little over thirty-five. Mm -hmm. And this one. The low is that the lowest trim level that they make or no but it's one step above it okay the the, the launch is actually a limited production vehicle. is it they're yeah. not going to do it they're not going to make a ton of them but it was just nice to come out with i got um, you because usually the trim levels that low are not going to have that sunroom yeah that makes sense you know yeah. so it's only so many that they're going to make on that it's kind of like Buster. Yeah. Like, look, you can get all this truck for $35,000 and a sunroom. Yeah. That was what that was. 
just an attention grabber. It's gonna go away. So the little green little arrows down here mean that you're in your lane center. And then if you start to, it corrects you. See that? If you go over it, it moves you back. Isn't that crazy? It illuminates the lane yeah. side? Yeah. Whichever side you're drifting to. It's so neat. That's just crazy. Yeah, I enjoy driving the vehicle every day. Yeah, I bet you do. We've put however many miles we see on that. Mm -hmm. We probably put all but about 80 of them. That's crazy. 40 to 80 of them. Mm -hmm. How long are y'all out and about doing this? Um, our the southeast region is officially over. Our last event is June 21st. Oh, nice. And we started early May. But there are 17 teams nationwide that are doing these activations. 34 wow. people, 17 teams in all different regions. Some are done, some are not done to the end of the month. Mm -hmm. We're all done at different times. Look at another region. Southeast would be good. You get to see a lot of neat places. Well, we picked the vehicle up in Louisville. Mm -hmm. And then we headed over to Tennessee. Nice. And then home to Atlanta for about a week, week and a half. Then I took a quick dash over to uh, Alabama. And now we're here in South Carolina and we ended North Carolina. So East Coast is probably the best dealership we've ever seen, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll answer for it. I, I am recording. Just you know, <laughs> she doesn't have to be. <laughs> I mean, I, I go to a lot of dealerships. They're all good, know? right? But yeah, uh, and, um, there's something about great. East Coast, though. East Coast. Is this fantastic. is considered East Coast. Mm -hmm. Okay. East Coast Volkswagen is where we are, and we're a mile from the beach. Well, I know right the now. name of yeah. it. When you said East Coast, I'm like, wait a minute. I thought we were South. No, we're East like, Coast. East Coast, Far East Coast. East Coast Volkswagen was awesome. All the staff was very friendly and accommodating. Especially Dan. <laughs> yeah. Especially Dan. He, it yeah. was great. What's going on over here? You can increase the speed up to what you want, but it'll still stay. Isn't that crazy? So the green arrow shows you. It'll just keep moving like, up. Yeah, so you're the bottom right. I'm putting it yeah, on, but it that. won't go any faster until that car moves. And you can increase your length between. Mm -hmm. That's the middle. How many button. bars do you have now? That's the middle button. That's three. That'll be four. Four bars. Mm -hmm. That's five, yeah. six, one, two. I'm gonna take it off on this corner. Might be some trust. <laughs> looks similar to a. Uh... Now it will actually stop. Mm -hmm. And then, like, Until if the vehicle in front of you stops, it'll stop. That's right. Okay. Yeah, it might be, might be car lengths, possibly. I thought it was like seven feet, it looked like, when we were doing it, we were messing around with it. So that's probably about right. I mean, cars are what? Ten feet, most of them. won't stop you if nobody is in there. <laughs> the cross traffic's pretty neat. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I'll show you the backup camera when we get. It displays a lot. Yes. Where, the surround camera? The surround. Yes. Yes. We don't like to call the one on a premium the backup camera. That's true. Yeah, we like to call like it the, the Torre. Yeah. surround camera. I don't know if that one's up. We're going to do the park pilot, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, if we can demo some of those features while we're in the parking lot, that'd be fantastic. Yep. When you were driving it, uh, you said you had to drive it to Charleston. Mm -hmm. You got a chance to put it in a sports mode. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. Right. I know. When I'm an open highway, I do the same thing. It's about, what, 1,500 RPMs difference, I think, when we tag. like that. This is the park pilot. So that's the camera. Nice. 360 above view. 
I don't know if we'll be able to demonstrate though. If we got any place for them. See how it's displaying it in there? Mm -hmm. And it's telling you to where it can back it. So it's gonna pull me into that spot. You put it in neutral. Or no, you don't you put it in reverse, I'm sorry. And take your hands off. You gotta control the brake. So how does it know if it's because it's showing you the ladder people back there, but yeah, we'll see what it does. <laughs> um how does it know if it's a perpendicular or a parallel parking spot that you want to go into? It's showing you on the side there. Okay. And then it tells you. It tells you what gear to put it in? Mm-hmm. It tells you beeps at you and tells you when to, and then it'll turn for you. So you're just using the accelerator? Yeah, I'm controlling the brake. That's all. I'm not even using okay. the accelerator. But it'll space it. See how it's moving on its own? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that crazy? It Come is on, like man. an entity and then in the If you grab the wheel, it'll cancel it. Okay. So okay. anytime you can override it. See right now it's asking you is it perpendicular. And then you can change that? Um, let me see if it'll change. Or if it just senses the amount of space or something? Or? I'm just going back and see. I think it reads the line. It uses sonar, I do know that. And it can almost read, I think, what the lines on the road. See right now it's telling you to pull forward, it's looking for a spot. I think you hit it again. Nope. Huh. I don't know if it's because there's no cars there, it's not reading it. Well, yeah, let's turn around and go back. Oh, there you go. See, now it's telling you it's perpendicular. I don't know if that's because it's reading the width. Okay. We'll try it. And it's telling, now you it's to telling me to pull forward. Uh -huh. See the front arrow? Yeah, okay. And then you let it do its thing. And it's telling you to stop and put it in reverse. Man, it gets close. Look how close it parks to the other vehicle. Isn't that crazy? Right. So anyways, thank you for watching and thank you to East Coast Volkswagen here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'll see you guys next time.